To service our pump head, we'll start by removing the top plate and the left side panel. Next, we're going to use wrenches and adjustable wrenches to loosen each of the fittings on our pump, as well as the nuts that are attaching the bulkhead to this back plate. Now I can remove our pressure relief valve assembly. Then I can remove the inlet and outlet fittings from our pump. Next, we're using a 9 16 inch socket wrench with a long extension so that we can reach the four bolts that are holding our pump on. We're going to remove these four bolts. Now with the bolts pulled out of our pump, we're going to slide this pump off of the motor shaft. Carefully support it, pull it towards you, and set it to the side. Next, drain the oil from your pump. I have it propped up on the side of my table. We're going to remove the cap from the top. Have a beaker or container to catch the oil, then use the same 9 16th socket wrench to remove the cap on the drain plug. Now allow all the oil to drain. With the system drained, we're going to wipe clean our drain pipe, apply a couple of wraps of PTFE tape, and reinstall our cap. Next, I've marked the top of my manifold plates as outlet and the bottom of the manifold plates as inlet to keep reference and I'm going to stand it up on its side and use a one half inch wrench or socket wrench to remove these eight bolts holding the manifold together. With a 3 16 inch Allen key insert, I'm going to remove the two screws holding our valve plate located here and here. Next, with a pick or a knife, remove the O-rings from the manifold. We're going to apply petroleum jelly to our new O-rings to help them stay in place and help lubricate. Then you go ahead and install these O-rings into our manifold. Set that aside. Next, we're going to remove all the internal components of our valve plate here. Let's start with the outlet side here. We're going to remove these retainer clips using some needle nose pliers or a pick. We've got our retaining clip, a spring, and pop it. From there, we're going to take our valve puller. We're going to insert it carefully into each valve. And then just continue to push this through each individual valve seat. Now with our outlet side all pulled out, we're going to go ahead and pull the valve seats from our inlet side. Once we have that done, go ahead and unscrew your valve puller and we can slide all those seats up just like that.
Now I'm going to use my pick to pull the retaining clip, the O-ring, and the poppet out of the remaining ports. And all I'm doing is keeping track of the order that these are stacked inside of my valve plate just so I can put them back the same way when I replace them. Right now, I've organized my new components in the same order that they came out. For each of these valve plates, we're now going to add a round O-ring to it, and then make sure we coat the whole thing with some petroleum jelly. Next, use a scrub pad to clean each port on our valve plate. Make sure we get any debris that's left over from before with a microfiber towel. Be sure the inside of each of these looks very clean. Now go ahead and go through each port and apply a generous amount of petroleum jelly to every surface on the inside of these ports. Next, assemble your valve plate just as we pulled it apart. Let's start with the inlet side over here on the top. We'll begin by placing a retaining clip. Press it all the way to the bottom. Next, we'll place our spring. We'll insert the O-ring around the retaining clip. We'll use our pick to make sure it's in the proper position. Slide our poppet into place. Now when we insert our valve disc, we're going to make sure we have the side with a chamfer on the inner edge facing down here. So there's the chamfer, we're going to face it down. Go ahead and push that in. And sometimes it helps to use a larger size socket and a mallet to make sure that it's fully seated. And finally, the washer on top. Repeat that process two more times. Now for the outlet side, let's just do the same thing in reverse. So we'll start with the washer. Press that all the way to the bottom. We'll take our valve seat. Make sure the chamfered inner edge is going to be facing up this time. So this is the edge. We're going to slide it right in there. Press it in. Use your larger socket to push it all the way down if you need. Also make sure it's fully seated. Then we're going to install the O-ring. We're going to set our valve poppet into that port. Then set your spring onto that port. Make sure everything is centered. And then finally, we're going to take our spring retainer. Simply press that in over everything. Now repeat this step two more times. 